All right, I'm actually going to play this on the YouTubes as well. So let's play some Alien Isolation and hopefully not get scared shitless. Survivor mode. Nah, let's just play the main campaign. Is that? I'll work it there. Worry about it later. Start. Okay, so. The recommended way to experience the game. So, the Seeks and logo. Can you guys see it? Is it too dark? Is that okay? Because for me, that's okay. Like, that's way too bright. How's that for you guys? Fairly visible? Okay. Alright. Directions are useful to, to avoid dangerous situations. All I can hear is the, the Sonic the Hedgehog Sega. Final report of the commercial I'll starship Nostromo. I'll change it down. I'll Third it officer down. reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas. Are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. I wonder if they actually got Sigourney Weaver to do this. Like the voice This is works. Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. You're already scared? Oh, come on. It's just an alien killing me. Stalking me. Ripley! I'm Samuels. I work for the company. Oh, God. Now I'm scared. The company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel. The Anisadora has recovered what we believe to be the I'm flight recording unit of the Nostromo. Where? Yeah, that's a good way to get him burned. Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected the as company. soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know facility. what it is. So are we playing as Ripley's daughter? Arranged. Also Ripley? There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. This guy's gonna die. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking. Yeah, everyone does look really moist. I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrents if you want to come along. Maybe there was some closure. <laughs> Moist. <laughs> Moist. 
Hey Sabs, do me a favor, will you pull up the section where you can change your name color and manually set it and sh uh, take a screenshot to show Marja so that she can have a consistent color rather than being a random color every time? And I swear to god if she chooses purple I'll strangle a child. to walk. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I can't I can't take it seriously. some room for the little guy. Hmm. You really- Why would you smoke in a spaceship? That's the scariest thing so far! Like... Are you trying to get everyone killed, you fucking psychopath? Why would you smoke in a spaceship? Hello, welcome, how are you? There we go, much better. Seriously though, why would you smoke in a spaceship? That's asking to be brutally murdered. It's H-N-E, not H-O-N-E-Y. Uh, so far so good. However, because nothing has decided to terrify me. Your registration points may not save your progress. They will warn you if enemies are nearby. Please tell me that this toy robot is the registration point. That is all I want in my life. Oh, right. I was going to turn that on the volume. How is, how is field of view maxed at 47? Okay, whatever. Yes, it's it's Hanedu, but honey too. It's a joke, never mind. Ah. Log your details in the mainframe, please insert your keycard into the slot below. Your keycard must remain in the slot or all three regression lights go out. Moving your card early will invalidate your login. Okay. Now, where can I get some clothing? Uh, that's that, oh god! Now, uh, now I'm all wet. I think three goes. I I was making a joke. You was, god damn it! I'm gonna strangle a small child. All bitches. Each and every one of you is a bitch, individually and as a group. <laughs> hate you. You're too sleepy. Oh, go to bed. <laughs> Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Well, you've got an attitude. Sorry. We all. I feel bitches. like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. What do you mean, you people? You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. Realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and- Oh man, I should have some pizza. It's okay. 
Mm. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, what kind of pizza are you eating? Have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. I'll catch up with him. You should probably get changed before Valen calls us. Mm, yeah, I, I don't know where my clothes are. <laughs> oh, look at the little hippo thingy. Cassette tapes. I'm walking around naked and wet right now. I mean, I kind of am. Naval cookbook. Eh. Access terminal. A record of disaster. 2N Taylor, RE Nostromo incident, Whalen Yutani file DS9398476. Hey Taylor, I get you I got your case request. It may take me a while to dig out the files, and the incident happened before my time in the company, so I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. In 21-22, the Wayland yutani cargo vessel USCSS Nostromo went missing. No trace was found of its cargo or crew. Apart from a new science officer, all the rest of the crew had been working together before. Seven in all. I have to scroll with the page down. Dallas, the captain. Ash, the science officer. Kane, or is it Kane? Executive officer. Ripley, warrant officer. Lambert, navigation officer. Parker, chief engineer. Brett, engineer technician. Whalen yutani lost a lot of money from it. It's a bit of a black mark in the history. Get the impression they don't like to mention it. Anyway, I'll try to find the files later. Clarify some of the points. If you want, I can help you go through them. Maybe some of your luck will rub off on me. I hear upstairs have an eye on you for something big. Saul. You feel called out now? Pizza with a meat and sausage. Right, right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, he was back. He is select. Alright. Name MSV 7760 Torrens. M class starship. Captain Verlaine Diane. Navigation slash comm officer Connor William. Owner, Verlaine Diane. Contractor, Wayland yutani Outbound and return transportation for Wayland yutani retrieval team to Sevast... Sevastopol Station? Sevastopol, yeah. Team consists of three Wayland yutani employees. Samuel C. Ripley A. Taylor N. Passenger, Samuel Christopher. Ripley, Amanda, Taylor, Nina. Number of decks, two. Number of crew, two. Interstellar communications, antenna, long haul, hypersleep chamber, commercial passenger cargo ship retrofitted from a tow rig. Retains operational capacity, or sorry, operational heavy duty tow umbilical. Alright. Can I run? I guess I should check and see what the controls are. Maybe I should be playing this with a controller instead of a um, keyboard. So sprint to shift, use that, aim is, uses E and Q, you let us R, peak control, revolver, shotgun. Oh, I get guns? Cool. Flashlight, motion tracker, space. Tab left and tab right. Okay. It's fastball, it's a city in Russia slash Ukraine. Oh, cool. I guess I can't run yet because I haven't unlocked the ability to move quickly. Wait, how can it be in both Russia and Ukraine? Those are two separate countries. Is it right on the border? Hey, nerd. Where are my clothes? dangerous to run while wet and naked. I mean, given how I hurt myself a few weeks ago, you're not wrong. For those wondering, I may or may not have slipped after getting out of the shower and split open two of my toes on the uh, a piece of the floor. Like where the, the, the bathroom tile switched over to the hardwood. He's supposed to be holding something. I like, I just want to know how to put clothes on. That's all I want is clothing. Like, like, where, where are my clothes? 
Wait, can I not go back in there? He's not just holding, he's poking his hand. <laughs> yeah, he's just standing there going, beep, beep. Wait, beep, boop, boop, beep. <laughs> Seriously, though, where the hell are my clothes? Oh, wait, I'm, I'm just back here again. It's, uh, they define the territory. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Door locked. I mean, if it's right on the border, that's one thing. Like, there's plenty of places where there's a city that's built right on the, the territory line. Anyway, hey, a wrench. And a book. And a welder's helmet. Seriously, though, can I get dressed? I would like to put clothes on. Oh, I have a map! I have a map! Okay, okay, so I need to back, go right, and then... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't realize I had a map. I feel dumb. Oh, I didn't even know there was a door here. Fuck. Wait, didn't I? Yeah, I went in here. Oh, okay, so I went here, and then I went over to the shower, which I left on. Oh god, our water bill's gonna be out of this world. That's probably a bad pun, given that we're in space on a ship, but totally didn't think to look over on this side. Okay, now I have clothing. My back really hurts sitting up like this. I'm so used to sitting, like, hunched over like a gremlin and sitting up straight so that I look responsible on camera. It's just, like, holy shit. Because I'm, I'm normally, like, hunched over like a gremlin. Anyway... Wait, you just wa Yeah, I didn't know where to get dressed. <laughs> I didn't know. I was wandering around like, where the hell are my clothing? Okay, so we've done that. We've got saved. We haven't done... Have we done that thing? No, we haven't done this one. Okay, let's access this terminal. Just missed you. Verlaine, you on... You want to look up for a navigational officer? I have a friend who's just lost his ship and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. What can I say? Free nudes for androids. <laughs> Same old story. The megacorp undercut him, picked up all his clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by for the smaller companies, and I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay, though. Dropped by the docks and heard you were ju you just shipped out. Sevastopol Station. What a shithole. Still, I hear Whale and Yutani pay well. Good luck to you. If you can't beat them, right? Let's catch up when you get back. Blaine. What kind of a name is Blaine? Okay, so now that we're no longer walking around like a nudist... I mean, we had panties on. But, you know... Not really gonna do much in the vacuum of space. Oh, that's the airlock. Look, I'm stupid. Leave me alone. Yeah, I know. We got into the shower like wearing our underwear. Could you imagine how soggy it's gonna be? Hey, can you chat with me now, sir? Sir? Okay. Um. <laughs> Are we sure this is a horror game and not a mess? Let me let me go talk to Taylor again and see what she says. Maybe he's busy trying to think up a new way to go beep boop into his hand. Hey, will you chat with me again? I'm wearing clothes now. Okay. 
Find blueprints help you craft items from the components you collect. Alright. Yeah, I, I don't know how to make him talk to me. Wait. Okay, I wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally go out the airlock again. Sir? 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 Did I really break the game in the first 20 minutes? My reputation is gone, too, so they don't talk with me anymore. Delicious compound meat component of a fulfilling purpose. <laughs> well, I've managed to break it in the first 20 minutes. Uh, load. Load. Current save. Okay, so let's get dressed first this time. Let's see if that's what broke it. Let's turn that off, because why not? I'm not going to read this again. Okay, I'm not going to read that again. Because, like, when we went to... When we got to Taylor, it was, like, proximity activated. Wheelchair in space. Like, it was straight up proximity activated. She looked over at us and said something. Taylor, good morning. See? Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning, either. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. What do you mean, you people? I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Wayland Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. Realize. Your mother has been missing for Yeah, the mega chunk Twix bar. I like how it just says meat. We'll both get what we want, right? <laughs> it's just it's a meat bar. Have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Like it says eat I'll here, but there's up. there's an M you can just barely see. Also, who made these benches? Like how are you supposed to sit here? What is this? A Pizza Hut in nineteen ninety two? Bench seats? See, it's just it's a meat bar. It just says meat. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to read these real quick. I'm not going to read them out loud. Twix. Oh, you want it now? Yeah, who doesn't want a Twix? I could use a Twix. I appreciate that everything is, like, the correct aesthetic with, like, 80s stuff. Caramel and cookie crunch. Yeah, they have the cookie ones now. The cookies and cream ones that are pretty good. They're not as good as their original Twix, though. But that's just my opinion. Oh, hey, look, he's not just standing here this time. Oh. Samuels, <laughs> did you wake up early? That was so well, weird. Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. Oh, he's an android. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes. Emperors. Yeah, we broke it. A later pattern, but close. Broke the game. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Good job, it's chat. She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. We talked. She seems nervous. Hmm. I hadn't noticed. She's a skilled executive, though. She yeah, this guy's a robot. Any legal issues we might encounter. All personnel to the bridge, approaching Sebastopol Station. Looks like we're up. Can I take my clothes back off? I feel more comfortable in the vacuum of space and nothing but my undergarments. I like how, I like how instead of just going, 
like we could have gone the other way. We could have gone this way and cut off half the trip, but instead he went this way, which is just a little, oh, I guess it's the same distance. Yeah, I guess it's the same. It's like the difference in distance is negligible, but still wonky. Being naked broke a lot of the end. <laughs> just like real life. Being naked broke some things. Sorry, I had to kick that trash can a little bit. Hope you all had a restful journey. Sure. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comm so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? No. You can watch the approach on the monitors. Turn it down a bit. Can we see it? All oh, right. Switch then... to monitors. Sevastopol Station. There we go. Volume good? How about now? I turned it Is up a smidge. It looks like damage. Punch up 74. Tight angle. Enhance. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. Zoom and enhance. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> Marshal? Mar Marshal, this is the Torrin. Say again. See, this is the part where you go, hmm, I'm not going near that. Let's, uh... The station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so I fitted not sound in a suit that. with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Dude, fuck that. Safe Go home. <laughs> that is not how horror works. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. You know, until an alien shows up. Yeah, potential for awful death? Let's do it! Depressurizer. Fuck. Hating this. Just shout on me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. You're a welder. How do you know? And again, why would you even do this? Fuck happened here. My god, Ripley. You're doing good, Taylor. Whee! Just keep moving! Poor movie timing. Taylor Ripley, hold on! Stupid characters. Look for their signature panel. Motion trackers only in direction. Wait. Yeah, spooky time. 
Hello, Heli Jumper. How are you today? Hi. How are you? I wanna. I wanna fiddle with a little. Boing, 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 boing. Can I, can I just keep the protective suit on that has a big, whatever. I'm doing okay. So how, okay, quick question though, how is the volume? Cause I did turn it back up just a smidgen. I, I had used the keyboards and manual controls to turn down the system volume. And I'm, I turned it back up to where I keep it on as default. Registration points. Do I have a map? I do not have a map. Rest well, waiting until storage open. <laughs> okay. No complaints of volume. Okay. Just making sure. It's smart to take off the spacesuit when entering space station. It's just Select falling off the screen. Yep. Proceed to the nearest Marshall checkpoint and stand by while orbital stabilizers realign. I guess I'm the dumbass who went in the weird direction this time. Yeah, I know. That's what I thought. It's like, can you just keep the protective spaceship on? There was explosions here in a fucking highly uh, pressurized environment of space. Literally, the entire room should be on fire right now. It is an oxygen-rich environment. Everything in this room should have just immediately combusted. Oh, I have to E to climb in. Yeah, obviously someone was smoking, but like... The way these things work, that all should have immediately caught on fire because of the way spaceships are designed. Like, unless, unless they're actually like pumping nitrogen into the system, all of this is O2, which means all of it should be completely on fire. Am I like stuck in crouch mode now? Am I am I crawling around? Oh, the employee lounge. Nice. Oh good, I'm no longer crawling. I just had to hit shift. We don't do partial atmosphere for two and Oh, okay, well. Then, then my fictional science fiction is out of date. I apologize. Sevastolink. Folder corrupted. Decommissioning. Alright, two engineering team are e decommissioning. So, boys and girls, you probably heard the whisper about, whispers about Sevastopol by now, and I can confirm it's official. official. Sevastopol is being decommissioned. I'll go over with each of you what it means in regards to your contracts and next placement, but for now, we, shall still ha we still have a job to do. The suits want this done in a, with a skeleton crew, which means we'll only be needing a few outside contractors to help, but it does mean it over time. I recommend taking what you can while it's available. I should point out that the decommission does not mean... Lucky dip. Everything here has to be ac accounted for, and I will personally escort anyone found helping themselves to equipment to Marshall Waits, Chief. Folder crow. Okay. Should have kept the suit on, bitch! This'll help. 
queue to open their radial. Mouse to select. Oh, it's C to crouch. I'm over here hitting control to crouch. Hold on. Does control do anything? Control is peak. Okay, so I see what I was doing. I was over here trying to crouch with control instead of... Someone new, you always know working Joe. Forgotten strangers will be. I can't read that one. Moving. Look, I get you're trying to be fancy by doubling up, but you don't need to. Hello? Anyone here? Hello? I'm gonna speak very quietly. There's a lot of graffiti for her. Use this terminal to update your map as long as for years. Wait, what terminal? This terminal? Do I have to like spam it? That's weird. Glowy monitors, yeah. Okay. Who the hell takes space spray paint? <laughs> right? Alright, let's see. Langley, if you're looking for our stash, I've moved it. You left it right out in the open or anyone could have taken it. Jesus. Do you know what I had to do to get it? I've hidden it in one of the storerooms. You should not be able to find it. The code is 0340. Don't worry. No one goes down to the terminal anymore. Not after what happened. Also, we're out of meds and you're low on water, so you're going to need to get some. It's your turn. Maybe I'll teach you to take care of our stuff in the future. Anna. Goodbye from Siegson. Public notice, the decommissioning of Sebastopol Station. We've had a long journey together, but sadly it's coming to an end. Seekston Corp would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who worked and lived at Sevastopol over the years, and hopes that Seekston has helped to make it a productive and rewarding environment. Our investment and belief in the station has never wavered. Be assured that Seekston's Apollo Central AI and Working Joe androids will be there to serve Sevastopol until the last rivet is removed. We wish you all the very best for the future. After all, Sevastopol isn't just a station, it's people! Seeks in court. Audio. Kill the power. Harris? Wait. Harris, Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're gonna need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this shit's over. Wait up. Soylent green people? Yes. Restore power to departures. Guys, what's going on?
Do I have a map now? Oh, it's that. Okay. Hey, I've got a map now. So what's over... Okay, I gotta go check those out before I go over to the passenger lounge. No, 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 I want to take off. That was the wrong one. Med can be used partially heal yourself in moments of need. It takes careful vision to use the med kit, so make sure you have time to use it. Okay. Med kit needs a blasting cat? Apparently! I feel like there was supposed to be a stash here, but... I'm not seeing what kind of a stash it is. Yeah, a medical explosion. Come on, you know about medical explosions, right? When you first play this, you completely missed that storage room. You only found it on your second playthrough. Oh. But this is where I entered from. I like how the arms are like, <laughs> as you run, <laughs> like just look at them flopping down there at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> no delicious compound V, right? Rude. I guess I could have used... Was there, no, that's the only, the only way to get past it is to take damage from that thing. That's stupid. I, you mean I don't run like that? Do you? What the hell happened to her? <laughs> Rip Sevastopol. Oh man, a cocktail bar? Fuck yeah! This life for rent. Can you just sit down and not take any damage? Oh god damn it, I could have crouched. Look, I never said I was smart, okay? I'm a pretty face, not an intelligent one. That's not true either. Look at me, horrifying. <laughs> So was this like a fucking... Was this like a destination for funsies? Or was it like a military base? I'm confused. Door locked. Ion torch required. Yeah, it's, it feels like a spaceport. An airport in space. Uh, guys. Oh, 
Oh dear. Damn it. Yeah. Who shut who shut the blast door? I'm trying to remember what that, that catacomb is. By the by, it's significantly less scary with a giant light directly in front of me. Like, if I turn the light off, this might be spookier, but then you wouldn't be able to see me. Well, I guess these aren't very useful now, are they? <laughs> <laughs> down on this side because this is where I couldn't get because the floor was fucked up. Right. Right, right, right. I'm on the I'm on the right page. the use of the, the crank generator. Oh, fuck yeah, skee-ball! Wait, that's not skee-ball. This is, um... Oh, fuck, what's it called? Oh, what the fuck is it called? Fuck! Um... Air hockey? Thank you. It's been a while since I've been to an arcade. Shut the fuck up. Air hockey. A perfect example of why always online connectivity for a single player game is a bad idea. The space station has gone completely fucked. This is a perfectly serviceable uh, um, arcade cabinet, and look at what's happening. It won't let me play it because it's not connected to the internet. What horse shit is this? Fuck you DRM and fuck you always on connections. Ruining perfectly good classic arcade games. I'm guessing by the giant glowy... By the giant glowy that this is where I'm supposed to be going. Hey. Arcade cabinets getting DRM sounds like the worst, honestly, they already do. I mean, I believe it, and it's horse shit. Anyway. Look, look, if we're gonna be completely honest, we already live in the worst cyberpunk dystopia. We have all the things that make a cyberpunk dystopia. We have, like, horrifying stratification of wealth. We have corporations that scam everything we do and keep a constant tab on us and sell our personal information to the highest bidder. We have, uh absolutely disgusting ways in which the government is controlled by money more than anything else. We have people who are horribly poor while other people have more money than they know what to do with. 
The only thing we don't have out of cool cyberpunk futures is like cool badass robot limbs. And even those are things that we technically have, it's just getting them requires you to like have been in a horribly traumatic incident, and the ones that do exist are pretty rudimentary. I mean, give it 20 years and, and we'll have Deus Ex, but, you know, come on. CP system to suicide battery? Oh god. Anyway, point is, is that we basically live in a cyberpunk dystopia without the cool parts. We have all the shitty parts of a cyberpunk dystopia without any of the good shit. Sylvester Link! Alright, Zoe, I'm sorry, but I won't need you to come in next week. Capcom's been playing that sort of thing since 1993. God fucking damn it. As you know, the store's been in trouble for some time now, and I couldn't hold off the creditors any longer. There's just no one coming to Sevastopol anymore. It's not just us, either. It sounds like the whole station is in the red, and they're pulling the plug. Going to sell it off for scrap, I guess. I was speaking to one of the engineers, and he reckons they'll announce it soon. I'm telling you this so you don't stick around looking for another job. Sevastopol's finished. Time to move on. Harper. To all space flight employees, to all space term space flight terminal employees, in the interest of public safety and the prevention of panic, it must be made clear to all potential passengers that there are currently no scheduled flights leaving Sebastopol, nor ships available. The Colonial Marshals are investigating problems on station and will update accordingly. From the Office of Marshal Waits. What is Apollo? Apollo is the central AI that monitors and provides guidance for all of the Siegson working Joes on Sebastopol. Apollo also oversees all communications on the station. So wherever you are, you know you're in safe hands. Siegson, tomorrow, together. Konami DDR slash IIDX machines need to check in with the Konami network for recent releases. Ugh. So this is why I'm glad I used my old, I have an old original Xbox and the one inch thick metal DDR pads that I use for DDRX Ultramix 1, or not DDRX, DDR Ultramix 1, and I gotta say, uh, wouldn't really trade it for anything else because it works and I like the songs on it. is falling apart. Yeah, and you took off your spacesuit, you stupid bitch. Who does that? You don't know if there's a hole in the hull. Apparently guns have been fired, which is a real big fucking problem when it comes to an actual space station. Like, what, what, what would you do if you punctured the hull? Can I, like, jump? Yeah, a seat. I just I just want to sit down. I want to like do that thing where you sit in a chair and just kind of spin yourself in circles and then move by kicking your feet to push away. <laughs> Have I mentioned that I'm an adult? <laughs> All right, hope the glove is just the right size. You're holding a hold of blocks and accidentally impregnate your second in command by holding his hand without a glove while trying to save him from getting sucked. Don't put that evil on me. Wait, you don't know what that thing was, but if you activate it, it rolls, so you want one. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh, 
you can't stand up in there. No. <sighs> Never mind. Delicious spaces, bestos. Mm, keep moving. I'm trying to remember what episode that's from. Oh, hey, we found body bags. I need to go rewatch all of Futurama. Kiv gets knocked up a notch. I remember now. I remember now. Oh, hey, this is where I spooked the shit out of Grom, isn't it? Where's Grom? Where's Grom? That's keyboard sounds. Yeah, I have a mechanical keyboard. I'm sorry. Okay, but I will stop typing now. Rivers, this is Turner. I found the last power coupling. Took me a while, but it's off now. Just that's gotta be the exit over there. Come find me when you shut yours down, then we can get the hell out of here. Jesus, man, I'm hearing noises everywhere. Every creak and just hurry the fuck up, will you? So it seems like a bad idea that I turned on the um. It seems like a really bad idea that I've been turning on power as I find it, because it seems to be that's the bad thing to do. But I'm gonna keep doing it. Because I'm a protagonist and therefore I don't follow the rules. Looters rule pay, restore power. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to restore power. That seems to be the opposite of what everyone has been doing to stop whatever's been terrifyingly wrong here. All right, excuse me, dead bodies. I need to go do stuff. Also, lens flare pliss. Don't worry about it. People def didn't take time turning it all off. <laughs> Why do I expect a velociraptor to jump out at me here? I mean, the honest answer is because I've been watching YouTube videos like... I found this YouTube channel called Dead Meat that, like, goes through horror movies and, like, breaks down how people died, how many people died, how they were killed, and then some behind-the-scenes stuff, like, um, like, how set pieces were done, or, like, how in the first Jurassic Park movie, apparently Samuel L. Jackson's character was supposed to have this really long chase scene where he gets chased by velociraptors and killed, but because of a hurricane, it knocked out that set and they never filmed it. Um... Yeah, Alien plus Jurassic Park, exactly. So, I'm thinking about that. Hmm. Well, there's some shit in there that I want. Can I get in there? Maintenance jack required. Can I just get some bolt cutters, for fuck's sake? You know what I should do, though? It's been an hour. I should do an episode cut. In this spooky hallway of the dark. 